Hi guys, in this video we're going to tackle some exam style questions based on pH. So let's get started. Question number one says that a solution of nitric acid has a pH of 1.56. Calculate the concentration of H plus ions in this solution. So here we want to use the formula that came up multiple times in this video where the concentration of H plus ions is equal to 10 raised to the minus pH. So in this instance, that's 10 to the minus 1.56. So if we put that through our calculator, we find that the answer is 0 0.028 moles per decimeter cubed for the concentration of the H plus ions. This is just a simple calculation that revolves around remembering this formula, so it's worth one mark. Now let's have a look at question number two, which tells us that propanoic acid has an acid dissociation constant given by, and then we're given the Ka for propanoic acid. We're asked what the pH of a solution with a concentration of 0.35 moles per decimeter cubed is with propanoic acid. So firstly, we need to write out the expression for Ka if we're going to remember how to get to the concentration of H plus ions. So it's the concentration of the conjugate base. We'll just write A minus instead of the specific one for propanoic acid. And then we have the H plus ions and we divide through by the concentration of the undissociated acid. So now we remember that we need to make some assumptions with this Ka expression to be able to find the H plus concentration. First, we assume that only the acid produces H plus, so it is present in exactly the same amount as the conjugate base. This means we can rewrite the expression for Ka as the concentration of H plus ions squared divided through by the concentration of the undissociated acid. We then assume that the concentration of the undissociated acid is the same as it was when we added it, i.e. that only a very small amount of H plus ions have dissociated. So we can rearrange this expression to find that the concentration of H plus is given to us by the square root of the acid dissociation constant multiplied by the concentration of the acid present. So in this instance, this would be the propanoic acid. And it is in fact easier to just remember this expression. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, just click the snap revised smiley face here. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.